Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Fucking kill you, cunt! Ruvin's treasure! Told you true. Doo-doo, 
What happened to him? I don't fucking know. Brick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I've told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, cause she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. The HMS Oxenford Tretagore. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. The ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse? You're a homeless wanderer. Can't understand what it is to truly love one's country. Stay out of my way. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me, alive. Philippa Eilhart? What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends, reconvene the Lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Need to think about it. Don't take too long. We wouldn't want Philippa to escape again. You may go.
You're worse than door-to-door -door peddlers. Leave, Witcher, or I'll find some iron jewelry for you, too. Help me! They'll burn me! They'll burn me alive! I've done nothing! Nothing? Nothing? Who concocted those poisonous potions? Who helped the Lodge of Sorceresses, sending them reports via Megascope? Who addled men's minds with magic, eh? I know you, Remy. I know you. And your crimes. That was long past. It shan't happen again. Oh, we'll make sure it don't. Shackle him. He's cut too. Mummy! Can't allow this. No one's asking your mind, mutant. Still think you'll listen to me. Or to my sword. To me! At him! Giving me no choice. <laughs> Thank you. If you hadn't intervened, they would have killed me. And Louisa and the boy, I, I tremble at the thought. Triss Marigold. Find her. Might be able to help you. I hope so. Take this. I must abandon magic for good. You might still find use for it. Perhaps the next time you encounter mage hunters. Yeah, something tells me it won't be long. Farewell. since yesterday, apparently celebrating some big loop. Yeah, sounds like Skelligers. But you look to be an honest man. Help us. Drive away the hooligans. We've not much, but it'll make a tidy sum if we all pitch in. <sighs> Fine. I'll see what I can do. Really? So there are good men left in the world? Fill your horn elsewhere. This establishment's part of Skellige today. Seems to me we're still in Novigrad. And in Novigrad, Novigrad rules apply. Rules you happen to be breaking. Just how's that? You're not allowed to drink in peace. Have a bit of fun. Leg it, man, before you taste the wrath of a Skellige. Faith in humankind. Evil, oh flame divine. To do what to do. Easy now. Not in the habit of murdering priests in need. No priest. I'm a deacon. Just two months out of seminary. On my first mission. It, it wouldn't be right to kill a deacon on his first mission. Oh my, your eyes. Yellow and those. Pupils. I have read about this. You're a witcher. 
Well, clearly no feral cat or grass snake, so... In point of fact, a grass snake's pupils are circular, not slitted. But never mind that. Please help me. If they breach the gate, a pestilence will be upon us. Desperate times call for a witcher, huh? Thought your church frowned upon our kind. Mutants. A mistake common in our ranks, alas. I discussed it at length with my mentor. All are capable of doing good in this world. Genetic aberrations or not. Hmm. You sure you're a priest of the Eternal Fire? Met another of your fold recently. Tried to kill me, actually, near here. Didn't much like that I discovered he was trading in Fistech. So why would I trust you? Oh, it grieves me to hear this. I shall pray he repents. Alas, even the church is devoted err occasionally. And some show a pension for understatement. All right, but got a question first, priest. How's a witcher fight a plague? I misspoke. Not the plague, its source. The Devil's Pit, this mine, has long been used as a... well, a place to sequester the hopelessly sick. An isolated haven for the afflicted. A den to die in. Believe those are the words you're looking for. I'm not proud to admit it. But how else is the Scarlet Fog to be withstood? An incurable pestilence that spreads with the fury of wildfire? <sighs> Sorry, no comparison. Not about to sympathize. Getting tossed in a hole, left to slowly rot and suffer? Now there's a fate I can pity. You would leave the plague-stricken to infect their kin, neighbors? They die all the same, and take others with them. The Church seeks to protect the unafflicted. Hmm. What's done is done. Now where do I fit in? Deep within the mine lies a salt cavern haunted. Someone, that is some thing, lurks there, so ancient records show. A spirit that breeds pestilence and whispers in the dark. Alas. A band of deserters has seized the pit. They butchered the afflicted. I was sent to urge their departure. Should they force open the mine's gate, descend into its depths... We'll have more than just Catriona to stop. Let me guess. Your warning. Deserters didn't take it to heart? If only... They slew my retinue. I alone escaped. Please, you must help. I've coin to offer. They must be dealt with, the bandits, and this... this vile spirit. Could be this calls for a witcher, but I'll need more to go on. This spirit... been in the mine long? Anyone actually seen it? I've seen but some of the records. Above my station, you see. As I recall, it appeared long past after the first plague victims were brought here. The church attempted once to exorcise the ghost, but, well, I'd like to see for myself what came of it. Not exactly generous with details, were they? No. Our wards recently reported hearing whispers in the night. Pleas for mercy, but ghostly, strange. Altogether frightening. I'm afraid that's all I know. So be it. I'll help. And you wait for me here, coin in hand. Of course. Under the circumstances, I can't imagine how it might be better spent. Ah, the key. It unlocks the gate to the mine. Eternal fire guide you, Witcher. Yeah, knock yourself out, Eternal Fire. Farewell. Priest's escort. 
cuts and punctures. Swords at work. Deserters. Tell if you love the gods! A note. Potion recipe. Brewed with celandine. Hmm. Should look for the places mentioned. Please help me. Hmm. Sounds sincere enough. Can't be too sure, though. Could be a trap. Hmm. Medallion's humming. Better investigate. Long dry. Hemorrhaging fever of some sort. K. 
Kira's lamp ought to prove really handy here. Not that way! We'll find me there! Energy emanating from these bones. Spectre's doing. The beings Reynold mentioned. Another hint. Someone guiding me. Stop, not that way. Interesting. Dried blood and mucus. Victims of the Scarlet Fog. Gotta be. 
Walls are scarred. Human fingernails. The sick want it out, badly. Witchers came here. School of the Wolf.
Reynold a witcher? Something's not right. Medallion seething. That stench. Damn it. What are you, Phil? Leave us. You're wasting time. You're here to find me. Me! The sick rebelled, then paid dearly for it. Signs of torture. Hammer, blood. Like they drove nails into them. Dwarven spirit, Selendine. 
Contents of chest. Must mean this chest. Got some celandine on me. Good thing. Other ingredients seem in decent condition. Reynolds' own recipe looks like. Worth a try. All the signs scream Plague Maiden. But the symptoms... More likely a red miasma. Yeah. Need to prepare. Stop! Not that way! Mites! Destroy them! Free me! Finally! You're here! After all these years! 
years. The spirit and my asthma, it's still here. It almost, it almost has control. Hurry! Reynold? Yes, but my strength fading. The spirit taking control. I trapped us in here. The salt, wondrous. Understand? It can't escape. Hmm. Let it into an apotropaic chamber organically carved into salt. Perfect for a specter. Clever. But I... I feel it in me, still. So long now. Uh, help me, brother. Give me the potion. To expel it, at last. Been down here a while. Have any idea how long? Years. Decades. Time stands still here. Nothing ever changes, brother. Nothing. Longer than that, Reynold. Lots. Gotta understand, you should be dead by now, right? Only thing keeping your body alive is the miasmal. All the more reason to end this. You can do that! The potion. Please. Found your letters. To Lambert. Was sorry to read he betrayed you. Can't help thinking the miasmal would have bowed before the strength of two witchers. I was a fool, but what's past is past. Lambert, the snake, never deserved my trust. I'll be sure to pass the message along when I see him. Though your friend, believe Osmond was his name. You dare mock me? No. Just got the sneaking suspicion I'm not talking to Reynold right now. Not half bad, your ruse. But don't take me for a fool. But don't you understand? It will take control of me. It will kill you and all those you... you... No! Destroy it! Drink the potion! Finish what I... what I started! Oh, I will, Reynold. Just hold on a little longer. to let you leave this mine. Oh, but I will. You are the weaker witcher. I'll kill you, then spread through your viscera. Invade your mind. Deal with the miasmal. 
Reynold died centuries ago. Body didn't decompose, though. Likely slowed by the miasma. Strange. Never seen armor like this before. And the medallion. A wolf's head, but flat. Uh, Osman finally sent someone. Seems the gods remember this damned veil after all. And you... You have my thanks. Can't believe it's gone. There were moments when I didn't know if I was me or the miasma. Maybe I was both. Maybe neither. No need for thanks. Should mention, though, wasn't Osmond who sent me. Priest of the Eternal Fire did. Who are you exactly? Got a wolf's head medallion, but it's strange. Looks nothing like mine. Strange how? Designed and forged it myself, like all witchers at Kaer Morin. Quite the craftsman. Not me, though. Got mine from my mentor, like all witchers at Kaer Morin do. Must have been different in your day. Speaking of... When exactly did you arrive here in this mine? Hmm. It was... 970... Or no, 80. I... I can't recall. Damn memories are foggy. Fractured. Reynold, that's more than 300 years past. 300? No. No! They'd have sent another to find me after five. Ten at most. Osman himself would have come. Shit. I'm sorry. My asthma got lucky you showed, not some mere mortal. Witcher's immunity meant it could possess you without destroying your body. A cruel irony. I had to focus all my strength to prevent it from escaping. Till I locked us in this prison of salt, that is. Before that, it possessed the sick. Quickly corrupted. Deformed them. Turned them into the undying dead. Feral and mindless. All those voices, torches, wasn't you, was it? You gotta ask. The miasmal aimed to lure you here. I was too weak to even notice your presence. At least at first. How'd it happen that you came to be trapped with the miasmal? Those cultists hired me to expel it. First sign I might become possessed, though. They panicked, sealed me in here without a second thought. Could have sent an exorcist, or, or called for another witcher, anything. And those poor souls whose bones litter the mine, all forsaken for the glory of the eternal fire. Mm hmm. I saw. Miasmal tried to impersonate a witcher earlier. You the real, Reynold? How can I be sure? Ask me something only a wolf could know. Come on, let's get this over with. Sure you're from the school of the wolf? Your armor. Can't say there's no resemblance, but the color? Studs, vertical stripes? Back at Kaer Morin. They'd always toss gear my way. Whatever you touch turns to gold, they'd say. This particular suit, I refined on the path. It's supposed to be a prototype for the whole school. Till my time ran out. On your own? No workshop? Missed your calling, sounds like. Could have made a name for yourself as a fine armorer, or at least a tailor. Osmond had ideas of his own, 
for improvements. Scribbled them down. We were gonna discuss them when we met at Kir Morin. I'd like to believe you, really. Got any proof? Search my corpse. Left hand pocket of the tunic. Diagrams are there. And yours to keep. You're free of the Spectre, but you seem agitated. Need to make sure you'll find lasting peace. <laughs> Need to prevent me from becoming what we hunt. Well, still got a matter I need to settle. Be a brother. Help me. Then I'll find peace. Could also cremate your body on a pyre as the guild ordains. You'd see me leave this world burdened with pain and regret. This is the fate you wish for me, Wolf Brother. A priest sent you, or so you said. Bring him here. I'd like a word for my peace of mind. So be it. But a few words, nothing more. Your tone. Understandable, but unwarranted. No bad intentions on my part. And even if there were, you'd be here to protect him, right? Fine. I'll get you the priest. Failed to fathom. How could they let this happen? The bodies, the blood, so much blood. I, uh, I had no idea. Ray, Reynold. I know of the horror you suffered. I thought perhaps I could help. But how does one make amends for such a tragedy? A humble deacon like me. Deacon, Hierarch, you're all the same. Eternal Fire accepts two types into their fold. Criminals and hypocrites. Found the remains of a priest down here. Clearly chose to stay didn't abandon the sick in their time of need. Is he a criminal? A hypocrite? Mm, and who sealed him inside? Ghouls? Trolls? To red miasma itself? No. The very same church of the eternal fucking fire. Look at him. He's a child. What crimes has he committed? Forgot the verse of a hymn? Snuck a sweet roll while fasting? Believing the word of hypocrites, his sole transgression. This kid, this priest, treats witchers like humans. A rare specimen. More. An endangered species. Well, in fact, the church holding mutants in low regard, it's an error, a misconception. Scripture states, um, respect and cherish every living creature. Hmm. Respect for life is demonstrated here. As, as the prior says, he says, Door confound it. I've hung on their every word my whole life, but, but now, knowing of this travesty. The church must protect the weak. Foster hope. Yet what I've witnessed here is... What shall I do? Where shall I go? Fantastic. A crisis of faith. You just weak, or is this real regret? Truths you've learned here. What'll you do with them? Don't need 
a church at your back to do good. Can do that on your own. Aye, true. So right, which, uh, witches. I shan't be returning to Novigrad. I'll stay here, transform this place, create a haven for the afflicted, true to its name. I enrolled at the seminary to serve folk, not the church. What am I doing? Resisted or read my asthma for centuries, damn it. Now I can't find the strength to forgive this boy. As if hatred kept me sane all these years. Maybe it did, but that was then. What matters is your choice now. Your sacrifice was not in vain, sir. The church is my home no more. This tomb I will transform into a sanctuary for the living, dedicated in your name, good witcher. Made a difference here, Reynold. For him and many more. <laughs> I'm sure another name would suit it better. I'm no saint, no miracle worker. Just a witcher. And I'd rather it stayed that way. We're done here. Time we were on our way. By the eternal fire! I must think! No! I know what I must do. Yet, to cast aside these twenty years, what I learned of the world... Here! Your reward, Witcher. Give my thanks for, uh, uh, for your help. Might not need to cast it all aside, not entirely. There was wisdom in some of what you recited. Perhaps. Yes. Perhaps I've yet to find the Eternal Fire's true light. Perhaps I must seek it elsewhere. Farewell, former Deacon. And good luck with your search. Now to find Osmond's scribblings, the ones Reynold mentioned. Could complete the armor then. Worth a look around next time I'm at Kaer Morin. Yes. Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. Tis a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. Looks like a nobleman. Could be just that. Come with me. I can't perform the ritual here. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Let's try it. Think it's a nobleman. Be on your guard. It could be something far more dangerous.
in Arlen Dwarma Ar Ice. No! Taro! No! I, I can't explain everything! Coral? I never looked at the less. You are my one and only. Oh, oh, you're not Coral. Some succubus. A uh, delusion. Where, where, where am I? So Coral enchanted him, just like her. If there's a more vindictive sorceress, I don't know her. Well, except maybe... Coral's not here? In that case, come to me, succubus. What is your name? Hmm? We're in Novigrad. Novigrad. In Novigrad. Last I recall, I was in Oxenfurt, and Coral was furious. How can she demand fidelity when she herself is wanton as... as... As youthful goats. Exactly. Damn it! I feel as if I've been trampled by a herd of cattle. I've no notion what she did to me, but it seems... You've delivered me from my misfortune. Here, take this. Have a good time. Paint the town coral. Whose taste has grown worse since you were sleeping with her. Come on, the kind-hearted gentleman will get along fine on his own. Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? Feel all right? Hmm, so-so. Why do you ask? Been wondering. How's your hand? Your fingers? They'll heal. Listen, it was my idea. I knew exactly what I was getting into. Don't need to worry about me. When you slit Menga's throat, and then you were fierce. Never seen that side of you. What would you have had me do? Conjure up a cloud of butterflies? Not what I mean, and you know it. I'm a little worried how it might affect you. Well, yeah. I'd probably relive it in my dreams if I wasn't already having nightmares about mages roasting on pyres. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places. Where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. Who's this Ingrid Vagelbud? The Vagelbuds are one of the city's most influential families. Somewhat atypical, the women have been in charge for generations. Patricia Vagelbud's the current mater familius. Ingrid's her daughter. Know her personally? No, seen her, that's all. And I've heard rumors. She's admired in Novigrad for her business acumen, and adored for the lavish balls she throws at the family estate outside town. Though the balls probably serve her business interests in some way. don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? He doesn't mention flowers. 
But I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish market, Triss. Be able to get you some salted cod at best. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. This plan? What is it? Our Doppler friend will assume Menga's form. Order Dandelion move to Oxenfurt. We can grab him on the way. Brilliant. But how do you aim to find Dudu? You're his friend. Any idea where he might be hiding? With the Doppler, the question's never where, but as whom? In the past, facing trouble, he'd disappear, then reappear on the morrow with someone else. But this time... This time he hasn't returned. Known Dudu Long? I know this might sound strange, but I can't be sure. It seems he'd been circling me for some time in various forms, trying to attract my attention. Can't blame him for making the effort. Thank you. I failed to notice him at first. Then he decided to shoot the moon, assumed Dandelion's form. What tipped you off? How do you know it wasn't Dandelion? Dudu not much of a singer? No. He simply spoke about something other than himself. We need to convince Dudu to reveal himself. Any friends we could leave a message with, someone he trusts. Dandelion. Irina Reynard's troop, that's all really. Not certain he was friendly with anyone else. Spent dawn till dusk with the troop, on stage or in the crowd. So he liked going to the mummings? Yes. I'm actually surprised he didn't come to us after it all happened. He certainly could have counted on the Foxen's help. Hmm. So if these mummers are ready to help... We need only mention Dudu. Irina and company are deeply indebted to him. Dudu and the Mummers, how they meet? That was my doing. Some opening night. Maxim lay comatose in his wardrobe, drunk as a notter. I thought of Dudu. Hard to imagine a better actor than a Doppler. And Dudu revealed himself to them just like that? I didn't think it wise to tell anyone. But Dudu and Irina took to each other completely and right away. He fell so hopelessly in love with the theatre. That he started performing with you? Yeah. Now Irina feels terribly guilty. They let him put himself in danger. She can't forgive herself. Maybe we could use a play. You know, work a message to Dudu into something. Lure him out of hiding that way. Not a bad idea, but I doubt a few lines would suffice. Besides, do you really think Dudu whiles away his days attending mummings he knows by heart? So what do you suggest? We must write an entire new play. From scratch. Something grand. Something that will grab Dudu's attention. So most importantly, it must have a splendid title. It must be the talk of the town. If you wish, we can start on it right away. All right. Guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you, and that we wish to free Dandelion. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? More or less. That'll do. Now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Molla. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit, and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide, and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. 
What do you think? Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Or perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothal, a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pulvetta. They want him dead, but at that instant a witcher steps in. And everything ends splendidly. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I've two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Let's go with The Doppler's Salvation. It's shorter, catchier. Just one problem. No Dopplers in that story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Hmm, all right. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Think comedy's the safer option. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. All right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Geralt, wait. A rhyme for Witcher? Uh, did Itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? You were gonna work something in, like come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play, not at all! You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. I was counting on recognizing him by his scar. Or just improvising? Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Sure you know where to find her? The troop performs in the butcher's yard off the main square. Join us later. See ya.